this is the most important concept for uh, problems and all like we will get more questions we may expect more questions from this concept that is boundary conditions so finally i am presenting you all the important conditions the final conditions for these kind of boundaries that is first one is dielectric dielectric second one is conductor dielectric third one is conductor free space so to know field on one side of boundary if other side is known we need to use this we these conditions are helpful and also these conditions are useful to determine the refraction of the electric field intensity e bar across the interface okay like fine and we are deriving these all conditions using this basic formula that is circular integral of e bar dot dl is equals to zero and surface integral d bar dot ds bar equals to q enclosed that is gauss law and gauss law and this i don't know what is this law okay so and finally the total electric field intensity will be given by the electric field intensity tangential plus electric field intensity normal right this is very important man really it is very important very useful total is equals to tangential plus normal <coughs> okay so now the, if we look at the first one dielectric dielectric boundary the tangential components relation is like this that is e1t is equals to e2t that is the tangential component in one side is equals to the another side okay and how to get d bar from this so you know d bar equals to epsilon a bar is equals to dt bar plus dn bar okay so if you substitute e bar here you will get d bar then final condition you will get is like this d1t by epsilon 1 equals to d2 by by d2t divided by epsilon 2 so from this you can also write d1n minus d2n equals to rho s this is for normal components so this d1t by epsilon 1 equals to d2t by epsilon 2 is the relation for tangential components but what about the normal components of electric flux density they are related by this that is the difference between those normal components is equals to rho s okay that is surface charge density and when this d bar is directed from region 2 to region 1 this is the case when d bar is directed from region 2 to region 1 otherwise you will get negative if it is region 1 to region 2 that you need to take care of and rho s is the charge deliberately placed at the boundary surface charge and if rho s equals to 0 if the charge placed at the boundary is 0 in the exam they will ask you what is the condition of normal components when rho s is 0 ok and then it will become d1n equals to d2n that condition you need to take care of then similar to these all conditions you can derive the conditions for E and D in case of other boundaries that is conductor dielectric and conductor free space so if you observe that in case of conductor dielectric you will get the tangential component of E equals to 0 and also the normal component of D is rho s okay and in case of conductor free space boundary the tangential component of e is zero and the normal component of d is e naught e n not e naught epsilon naught e n which is nothing but rho s okay that's it right thank you